guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing my updated makeup routine for you guys. Some of you have noticed that my makeup has been looking a little bit different lately. And also, you know that I've added some new products into my routine that I'm absolutely dying to share with you officially in one spot in one video so if you guys are interested in seeing my updated makeup routine keep watching and yeah let's jump right in okay so the very first thing i always do is use sunscreen and i've been using this one here by cvs this is a new sunscreen of mine i had to stop the neutrogena one because there was a recall on that product due to some ingredient that's like really harmful now i'm using the live better face mineral sunscreen by cvs spf 50 it's definitely not like smooth and clear, but it does the job, so it's fine. And then I use my Kiehl's moisturizer. So I just have the moisturizer on my skin. I'm just gonna add, and I'm just going to add the sunscreen right on top. I kind of just do that in one go because I'm lazy. Next up, we go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. A really good primer, might I add. Your makeup will literally stay on all day. I'm gonna need this makeup to last me the entire day, so this is the perfect primer for that. And while that's drying, I'm gonna start my brows, and I'm using the Merit Brow Pomade here. And I mainly just brush my brow hairs going upwards. So this definitely gives you that natural, like, furry brow look which I'm starting to appreciate. At first, I was definitely like, no, I do not like that, but it's definitely growing on me. So I kind of just fill the brows in like that. As you can see, it's very subtle, but it does something. It kind of just fills the brows in and it's a very natural look. And then I kind of just allow this to dry for maybe a minute or so because I need to go in with another brow product to further define the brow. So now I'm going to go in with my Precisely My Brow Pencil. So the Merit product doesn't really define my brows. It kind of just adds like fullness and just like body. Now I need to go in with my Precisely Brow Pencil to further like define them, make them more, you know, like crisp. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to start at the bottom. And you guys can see how much cleaner that is already. So that's basically what this brow pencil does for me. And this is basically what the sunscreen and the moisturizer dries down to. As you guys can see, there's no more white cast. My skin completely just absorbs it and it just looks like glowy skin. But now we're gonna move on to foundation. And you guys know I'm a diehard NARS foundation fan. However, I did have to go up a shade recently. I moved from New Caledonia and now I'm at Aguaku, which is a little bit darker, prob probably a little bit too dark. And it's definitely not the right undertone, but I promise you, trust the process and you're going to see what it looks like in the end. I'm going to do about two pumps. I'm definitely not really into foundation. I don't wear too much foundation. I'm going to be using the Sephora 56 brush and this is their Pro Foundation brush here. On top of purchasing new makeup, I decided to invest in quality brushes and I will say it's changed the way how my makeup looks if that makes any sense. Trust me, I'm definitely a cheap brush fan. I've had cheap brushes for years, but investing in quality brushes really just changed the makeup application game for me. It's flawless, okay? And trust me, I know this looks absolutely crazy, but again, I promise you, trust the process. Before you comment the foolishness, just trust the process. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the NARS um, concealer here. It's in the shade Truffle.
Then I'm gonna take my MAC concealer in the shade NC45. And I'm also going to apply this. And then whatever's left over, I'm gonna put under my cheekbones. Also, this is me in like a different light for you guys to see that the foundation actually does not look that bad. I just look extremely tanned. It's definitely a lot darker than me, but I just look extremely tanned. And I prefer to look this way, you know, so yeah. So to blend my makeup, I use a beauty blender. Definitely does the job for me. And another thing that I've been doing really is just spending a little extra time blending my makeup. Just really putting in the effort to really blend. Because I usually rush this step and look crazy so I just spend a little extra time you know Once my concealer is blended, I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush again and I'm just going to kind of just, I just go in between here and just really blend out any lighter parts or harsh areas because that tends to happen sometimes. Like right here, there's a clear line. Just go in between here and just kind of just blend that out. So to set my under eyes, Laura Mercier powder in the shade Honey. My dark skin ladies, if you're looking for an under eye powder that's gonna suit you, this is gonna work really, really well. I used to use a translucent version of this. It's way too ghostly white and just weird, so this is the next best thing in the shade Translucent Honey. So to apply this, I kind of just dab the powder directly into the tub, and then I put it on the back of my hand because you really don't want this to be under your eyes. It's too intense. So now I'm just gonna look up and I'm gonna use whatever is left over on the sponge. See, still very intense, but way more, it's just not as drastic, you know? I hate that like powder look and it's so hard to blend out too. So this is a lot better. And we're not gonna be baking, we're literally going to be blending the powder into the skin. I'm holding my nose because I always get like a crease here. So literally we're gonna press this into the skin. So moving on to powder, this is probably one of my favorite products that I've picked up in a long time. I'm completely obsessed with this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in the shade Deep. They don't have a very large shade range, so if you're anywhere around my complexion, you'll fall under the same category as I do. So you guys are probably looking at this now and you're like, that's not going to be dark enough for my skin. but. Guys, this powder, it's like a transformer. Like you put it on and it's just going to, on top of setting your skin and giving you like a very airbrush look, it just, it will just adapt to your skin tone. It's a very good powder, I will say. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this powder. This is the best powder I've used ever in my life. So right after powder, I like to go in with my bronzer. And again, another product I recently discovered and I'm obsessed with, it's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer their airbrush line i'm definitely a fan again i'm in the shade deep and i'm using another sephora brush in this number 93. it's just your contour brush and just watch this bronzer work you guys i'm not gonna say too much just watch Another new product that I'm using is my Path McGrath Labs blush here in the shade Paradise Venus, the most gorgeous like rose color ever. I'm using my Sephora 96 brush, and this is like a pro blush brush. And um, I also love this brush for application. And when I do my blush, I try to go up, like I try not to do this. 
It starts applied on an angle. And I always overdo it with blush because I love blush. Blush is probably one of my favorite makeups to use. So yeah, I'm gonna dust a little bit on my nose. You guys are quite zoomed in now because we're gonna start eyes. So I use my exact same bronzer that I use my face. I use this on my eyelids and I kind of just place this directly into my crease. And then I'm gonna use that same blush that I used earlier and I'm gonna use this on my eyelids as well. Kind of crazy, you guys, but totally it does it for me. Like for some reason, like this is like literally like such a vibe. So moving on, I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. I use this eyeliner here by e.l.f. A dollar, probably one of my favorite eyeliners ever. I keep going back to it whenever I get a new eyeliner or anything like that. I always go back to this one from Target. It's from e.l.f. but I picked them up at Target. One dollar. So now I'm gonna go in with my Bad Gal Mascara, and this is from Benefit. It's a sample size, but I do have the full size of this. I just didn't bring that one because, you know, I'm on the road right now, I'm not home, and it's like a travel makeup thing. Again with my e.l.f. eyeliner, and I'm gonna put my mole back on. It's already there, but it's covered by foundation and powder and everything, so. So to set my face, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I told you, their airbrush line, I'm obsessed with it. So this is the airbrush setting spray. It has a gold cap, but I'm going to spray my face. And I try to avoid my eyes because otherwise the mascara will run. So we're wrapping up now. And the final things that I really do is apply my lip products. And And then for my lip products, I use the Booksome Lip Gloss in the shade Dolly. Listen, every person needs this lip gloss. Doesn't matter what shade you are. Doesn't matter if your lips are small or big, whatever. Every person needs this lip gloss, I promise you. It'll really just change your lip gloss life. And this brings us to the end of my makeup routine, you guys. This is all that I do on an everyday basis. Very simple, right? I'm obsessed with it. It looks good. It looks, I, I mean, I love it. It's like a 90s, yet not really, you know, very natural, very suiting for my face, I think. And I just, I'm just obsessed with that like look. So yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.